breaking. Bwari government lobbying international community against IPOB. Boko Haram bandit funding presidency. Bwari government lobbying international community against IPOB. Boko Haram bandit funding presidency. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, I greet you and stay tuned as I read today's news. The presidency has disclosed that the president Muhammad Buhari led federal government is lobbying the international community against the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Bandit, and Boko Haram. Buhari spokesman Garba Oshewu said the Nigerian government is lobbying its international counterparts to proscribe IPOB, Bandit, and Boko Haram. Shewu explained that the move is to block the funding of IPOB, Boko Haram, and Bandit. He disclosed this in a statement he issued in response to an editorial from Daily Trust newspaper titled Life Has Lost Its Value Under Buhari's Nigeria. Shewu said the Nigerian military is working around the clock to keep Nigerians safe. The statement by Shewu reads partly, First, our military efforts have not let up. It is true that in the face of today's growing number of threats from Boko Haram, kidnappers and IPOB to, to your run of the male bandit, our forces are stretched increasingly thin. But our dedicated soldiers are working around the clock to keep Nigerians safe. Third, even as the West continues to extricate itself from Africa militarily, we are lobbying our Western allies aggressively from for partnership, investment, and support in other areas, such as proscribing Boko Haram, Bandit, and IPOB as terrorist group, which would severely dent their funding for investment in trade and infrastructure, to help lessen economic instability, and to help with technical assistance, advanced weaponry, intelligence, and ordinance. The President the presidency has disclosed that the president Muhammad Buhari led federal government is lobbying the international community against the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Bandit, and Boko Haram. Buhari spokesman Garba Shew said the Nigerian government is lobbying its international counterparts to proscribe IPOB, Bandit, and Boko Haram. Shew explained that the move is to block the funding of IPOB. Boko Haram and Bandit. It disclosed this in a statement he issued in response to an editorial from Daily Trust newspaper titled Life Has Lost Its Value Under Buhari's Nigeria. Shewu said the Nigerian military is working around the clock to keep Nigerians safe. The statement by Shewu reads partly, First, our military efforts have not let up. It is true that in the face of today's growing number of threats from Boko Haram kidnappers and IPOB to your run of the male bandit, our forces are stretched increasingly thin, but our dedicated soldiers are working around the clock to keep Nigerians safe. Third, when, even as the West continues to extricate itself from Africa militarily, we are lobbying our Western allies aggressively for partnership investment and support in other areas such as proscribing Boko Haram, Bandit and, and IPOB as terrorist group which would severely dent their funding for investment in trade and infrastructure to help lessen economic instability and to help with technical assistance, advanced weaponry, intelligence and ordinance. Now we've come to the end of our today's news. Let's move to the comment section and let's see what the, what people are saying. The first comment which I have here says, Don't ever in your stupid miserable fucking life mention our government IPOB alongside your Islamic terrorist brothers. World Power, UN, USA. Never one of them address them as terrorists because they understand their movement. Another comment which I have here says, What do you expect from a government that have run out of any known ideas? This government is under a curse because of its many atrocities. Therefore, nothing will ever work until Buhari leaves Asurok. The man is an expensive disaster. 
a comment here too says Shewu don't include IPOB in your terrorist group. International community cannot include IPOB as terrorist. Well, I have another comment here too that says then who is sponsoring the Fulani Earthmen who have killed even more than the Boko Haram who by helicopter supplies them weapons and food in the forest who supplies the Fulani Earthmen terrorist AK-47 by which they used to kill, maim, rape Kidnap for ransom, commit arson, burn farmers' crops. You are branding, you are branding innocent self, agitating people, terrorists like IPOB, who are trying to protect themselves and region from the marauding Fulani Earthmen. Anyway, let me watch the international community. A comment here too says the military have the, the military have for the past eight years working around the clock to keep Nigerians safe, but all no avail. Along with this preparation manifest a very fast one to my dear listeners i don't know why i pop group should be included as a terrorist i don't know the reason why they should be included as a terrorist in fact fulani etmen are not sorry fulani etmen are not mentioned there which sponsoring fulani etmen the ak-47 not even not even a double barrel gun not even a local gun ak-47 there are Fulanis that use AK-49. They are using a sophisticated weapon to harm to harm the unarmed people in their farm. They use this weapon to threaten them, kill them, rape them, and all sorts. Why is Fulani Atman not included? I suspect something something fishy about these names. Now, because they've declared um, Boko Haram and all these things at the uh, terrorist now, they are trying just to just to prove innocence as if they know nothing about it i used to say there is nothing too much for the government to do i used to say they have all the constitutional rights under the law to get these people these people are still in nigeria people sponsoring them might be outside the country they might they might be outside the country but yet they still have informants in this country there is no way we have terrorists in this group and our security our security agents are somewhere are they not working they are working. Only the people using them has told our security agencies, people, as if they are not working. It's, it is as if they are not working because they, they are, they, they are ogres. They are boss. are the ones using these people too. They are using them. There, Nigeria, has, Nigeria has not been faithful to us. Our leaders has not been faithful to us. While I think well, where, where they are pushing us to is a very wrong place. To my dear listeners, how long do we continue to do this? Discrimination all over. Everywhere, our government do not have interest in us. To my dear listeners, please drop by at the comment section, express your thoughts, and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.